Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This is another quick how-to video. Um, as some of you or all of you are aware now that um, the new PS4 update 4.5 has just come out and finally it's give us the ability to use an external hard drive. Now for any of you like me that's got a 500 gig console um, never upgraded that is fantastic news. Um, Basically, I'm just going to show you how to format it, how to move all your stuff across. Okay, so before you start this, I will say that it has to be a 3.0 um, USB external hard drive. It won't work on anything lower. Um, so, and when you do get your hard drive or if you've found one laying about please make sure that you transfer anything off it onto something else because you do have to format it and once you've formatted it it will lose everything on there so that being said let me just quickly show you now unfortunately I got a little bit excited with myself so I have already formatted mine before I did this video but it's virtually, it's really easy to do, so I'll just show you where to go. So you want to be going into settings, you want to go all the way down to devices, click on there, and go all the way down to this one of your USB storage devices. Now, as you can see on mine, mine's got a little green light next to it, that means that it's all up and running, working perfectly, so on and so on. Now, when you go on yours, yours should be grey. Your little light at side should be like a greyed out thing. All you want to do is you want to click on it and yours, instead of saying this, will actually say um, format. So all you have to do is just follow it along. You know, it's easy enough to do. Just keep clicking next button. Um, la -di -da. Now, when you've done that, you just come back off and yours should then be green. Now, all you have to do after that if you want to free up your system storage is you want to come out of there come out of that one go all the way up to storage and then there you go now it should have you should have these two now your system storage and your extended storage um, obviously I haven't put anything onto mine yet so mine's absolutely empty now what you want to do is you want to just click on your system storage and it will as far as I know it will only move across applications it won't move any of your captures your save data your themes anything like that it will literally only only put on there your applications which is fine for me anyway because that's the biggest bulk of um your your storage anyway is your games and what have you so click on your applications and then you want to hit your options button to bring up your options menu now there it is, move to extended storage. So you click on there, and then I'm just gonna select all because I want everything moving across. Um, and then all you have to do is hit that move button. Everything will start moving across. It does take a while once I press that. There you go, 46 minutes. Um, it is a lot, I mean 316 gig is a fair old whack. And it's not like it's a, it's a high, high-end PC you know so it is gonna take a while but for 46 minutes to you know move all that stuff across that stuff that's clogging up my system um, I can't get another game on there because of it really um, so now I'll be able to do that I mean I, w I would advise to get something higher I mean this is just one that I found lying about and it's a 500 gig um, I will be looking at getting maybe a two two terabyte or three three terabyte hard drive just because you can get so much more on them, can't you? I mean, all these games these days, like you saw on there. I mean, Battlefield One's about eighty four gig, and that's just on its own. Um, so yeah, I will be getting a, a bigger one, and I'd advise you to get one as well. But yeah that's it that's it for this little video i just wanted to help a few of you out so if i have helped you don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it helps me out massively um i've started doing a, a bit more live streaming again um i am struggling to find a lot of time like because of work 
um, and obviously family commitments and that but I will be trying to get a lot more in and I'm also going to do quite a few retro streams now um, I've got I've got a I've sorted myself out with a little device so there'll be a lot of um, a lot of retro streams so that I'm looking forward to that that should be fun take you take us all back to the uh, Sega Mega Drive days and stuff so anyway yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it like I said don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um, if you need any help leave a comment in the comment section um, and I'll see you all in the next live stream Thank you very much for watching.